What is poppin' up guys, it's me Johnson and I'm back with another video for you guys and for this video we are going to unbox and review the Super King Triple Booster Set. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you did enjoy watching this video, why not leave a like and subscribe as well. Make sure to click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Alrighty, so before we unbox this booster set, let's just take a glimpse at the box first. So yeah, this I actually ordered this online and came really dented. But yeah, I mean if the base are okay, I'm I'm okay with it I guess. So yeah, let's take a look at the box first. So obviously you have the three Beyblades that you're going to get from the set. You have Tempest Dragon, Curse Satan, and Naked Diabolos. So some of the base, these are like the nobodies. This is what I'm really excited for, Tempest Dragon. Alrighty, taking a look at the box, the box, you can see an overview of all the parts, all of the included Beyblades right here. So you have Dragon, Tempest, 1A, Trench Metal, and then you have Satoon, Satan, um, Curse, 1D, Aero Dash, and Hole Dash. There's a lot of dashes in there. And then the last bay, we have Diabolos, Naked, Goku, Eleven, and Wave. So some of the parts right here are pretty brand new if you're going to get this set for the first time. But yeah, not, not so much, not really worthwhile for the other parts though. It's pretty much for Tempest Dragon. So yeah, the box done. Let's get into unboxing. Alright guys, so we have the triple booster set. Triple booster set right here. P171. Beyblade vs. Super King. So yeah, um, before we unbox this, let's just take a final look at the box. So we have Dante, Koryu, Nika Diabolos, Curse, Tempest. Let's go and unbox this thing. Alright, so we have all of the parts right here. And yeah, we're just gonna put the stickers. I'm gonna open now real quick. A ton of stickers. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna So yeah, I'm just gonna put the stickers and yeah, we'll go into detail part by part. Let's get to it. Finally done. Alright, finally all the stickers done. Um, I've spent a total of 20 minutes, I think. So yeah, let's uh, take each bay part by part. Alright, to start off, we're gonna first start off with Diabolos. So we have naked Diabolos. So here is our Diabolos 2 chip. It doesn't have any sticker at all, so yeah. It's a dual spin um, chip. Originally from Master Diabolos, but with Naked, you cannot use its right spin. And yeah, moving on, we have our Naked Layer Base. So it's just a Tick Boy right here. So left spin defense type, I think. I think it's just a defense type. Yeah, it's pretty Tick. Really, I guess, good for defense, I guess. And then moving on, we have pretty much a rare part. This is Goku. So yeah. Really intricate, really ornate design right here. So you have six um, points right here. And then they just kind of like throw away this right here, I think. Yeah, they just didn't care much about the disc. So we have 11. It's just a symmetrical disc, nothing really special. And then we have Wave Dash. I'm really excited to test this out. It is a balanced type performance tip. So you have a pointed tip, jagged edge, and then ring right here pretty interesting all right so let's assemble this way all together so all together now it looks really um clunky i don't know look at that it's pretty cool okay make it all right moving on we have satan curse satan curse Satoon, whatever you want to call it you have the chip i really don't like this um green color right here not really a fan of it, but uh, I, I mean the chip, but this one looks cool with this one. And then you have the curse ring. So you have, I think, it, is this rubber? Nah, it's plastic. 
so you have five rollers in total. So yeah, another recolor of the curse string. So when a bay hits the rollers, it's supposed to slide off. Like that. This thing even spin though. And then you have 1D. You've seen this multiple times, and now we have another 1D. It's an LR cha single chassis. It's an LR single chassis, nothing really special. It's just pretty light. The lightest of all single chassis. Then you have Aero Dash, which is surprisingly, it's pretty rare. And then we got four stars as well. Yeah, Aero Dash, you can put a core frame. You can put a disc frame right here. Yeah, pretty cool. And then you have Whole Dash. A dash version of the whole driver. It's like a predecessor for Destroy. It's really aggressive compared to Destroy, but it's not really that good. Okay, to assemble it all together, let's assemble this one. Okay, for the video, I'm not gonna use these parts. I wanna, I wanna use a defense build. So since I don't have universe, I'm gonna put outer instead. I have outer, then universe. Now it's more like Chris Aiden. Look at that. Look at that, man. Alright, last bay. We have Tempest Dragon. So, let's take a look at the chip. Look at that. Dragon. I think this is the best part right here. It's like it's very thick compared to most Super King rings. So you have two modes for Tempest. Currently, this is your bound mode. So it's pretty round. So that's why it's mostly used with stamina builds. But yeah. When a bay hits this, look at that, it releases its wing. But if you do launch this really hard, it will activate into a, it's another mode, trying to awaken. That's what it's called. The, it's awaken mode. There you go. So the proper way to manually activate this is to pull the bound blade right here, and then we push. The secondary blade and there you go you just don't click it because it'll break down and worn down the spring mechanism so this is your awaken mode it's a lot more bigger so it's supposed to add attack power so i don't know how it effective that is until we test it out so to reset it back to its bound mode you just pull the bound blade bring this down push this down and then you release the blade and then you have your 1a chassis a blue recolor originally from Super Hyperion and I think we got four stars as well pretty cool and then we have charge metal right here and we actually got a dash version from Gatling so this one is like a translucent one this is the opaque recolor so yeah let's assemble this all together good da look at how thick this is so yeah, um, here are all the bays that you can get. Okay, I just want to show you all of currently my dragons. You have the first ace, and then I don't have Imperial yet, and then you get Tempest, which resembles ace like a lot, and then you get Gatling. Look at those, the dragon family. It looks really dope. So yeah, we have all the bays right here, and yeah, I really can't wait to do some battles. Like, look at how thick this is. Imagine getting hit by that. I mean, these bays really nothing though. I mean, Christina, Sparking Bay, it's cool. You can deal bolus with the Wave Driver. Pretty slick. Let's do some mouse, test mouse with our brand new triple booster set. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so we have all the bays right here. And then, I think I'm gonna put Mirage Path in as well. We're gonna do um, random battles um, with all the bay blades from the set. Alright, first we have All right, first we have Naked Diabolos and Tempest Dragon. Let's get to it. First battle, 3, 2, 1, go. takes the win. The Grenology takes
be Naked Diabolos once again. Alright, let's try out Mirage Fafnir versus Kersian. Let's get to it. Alright, round round, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that was curse. These are about to finish. All right, second round. Okay, another survivor finish by Chris Satan. Alright, let's do this one. Tempest Dragon versus Chris. Three to one go. Oh, okay, oh. okay, compared to Tempest Dragon, like Chris Satan is like super light. Second round, three to one go. Okay. Alright, for our last battle for this video, let's have Tempest Dragon versus Gatling. Well, has a charged metal driver as well. Kind of dope. But yeah, let's see who's the better evolution. Alright, round one, she just. Okay. This is kind of like an issue with Tempest Dragon. Like, if one side only activated, yeah, you gotta. It goes really eccentric. So, not really ideal. Yeah, that is my unboxing and review of um, the triple booster set. So, go one by one, curse, Christian. It's cool. It has arrow dash, hold dash, not bad. I mean, they could have thrown in better parts, but I mean, got curse, which is a pretty rare part with the Satan chip on. And then we got Naked Diabolos, has um, Goku, which is has Goku, which is pretty rare. And then you got Wave Dash, pretty interesting driver. But amongst the three. This is the winner for me, Tempest Dragon. I really like the gimmick, I really like how it works. It's really thick, I mean the driver is kind of like a kind of like a let down. It's not really the best attack type driver. But yeah, it's really heavy as well. It can really do much in the stadium as well. So yeah, what do you think of Tempest Dragon? Triple booster set? Let me know in the comment section below and leave a like as well. So yeah, stay tuned for more unboxing videos. It's me Johnson, and as always, peace out. Bye bye.